Dear friends, in this video, we will understand the relationship between sling model and sling model exporter. What is sling model? Sling models are business objects that represent sling resources or sling request object in AEM. Sling models let you map Java objects to sling resources. What is sling model exporters? Sling model exporters helps to export the model as a different Java object, which can be serialized into a different format such as JSON by adding specific annotation to Sling model. Action exporter is one type of exporter used with Sling in general. Sling model exporter is available from Sling model version 1.3.0. Let us see a comparison. We have a sling resource. We use sling models, which is POJO with annotation and convert it as Java objects. Now we use at export annotation and this is called a sling model exporter. And this in turn calls the getter fields from the sling model and generate the JSON or CSV formats. Consider we have a small component which has title, description, and a link. Using sling model, we will get the Java object of that uh, component. And sling model exporter helps us to get the JSON version of the component. Can I use sling model exporters with versions prior to AEM 6.3? Yes. AEM 6.3 onwards, no extra dependency is required to use Sling model exporters. But versions prior to AEM 6.3 requires installation of below bundle packages, model API 1.3, models implementation 1.3, and models Jackson exporter 1. The package download URL is provided in description of this video. How to add exporter framework to an existing Sling model? First step is adding a resource type to a model. For this, add below code in at model block of sling model. Resource type equal to the type of the resource which we are requesting. And second step is add a new annotation, add exporter, name is equal to Jackson, and extension is JSON. Say if you have uh, some other uh, exporters other than Jackson, you need to mention the corresponding name, for example, Jackson B and extensions can be something else like CSV, etc. After build and deploy, invoke the resource with the selector model.json. This will bring back the response in JSON format. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video, please.